Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to West of Loathing. Let's hit the trail. Let's wander, because that's actually been working out very well for me. You find a crate lying by the side of the trail, its lid knocked loose. It has fell off the back of a cart LTD. Limited. Stenciled on the side, which seems a bit on the nose, but hey, free stuff is free stuff. You fish through the crate and help yourself to the meager but free contents. Depressed rancher candy on a lasso. Okay. Uh, I guess let's just keep going to new places. Oh, wait. Right. I wanted to go back to the desert house. Because I have a bone I think I can give the dog. Oh, another one of these. Okay. Are we just getting repeat things now? Because we're running out of stuff? Okay. Easy does it. Can I give him the bone? Give the dog a bone! With a knick-knack, paddywhack, you achieve your aim. The dog begins contentedly gnawing at the human fever. Human femur. Femur. Uh, can I not? The hinges on this grate, this gate are really rusty. If you open it, open it, the bandits inside are definitely going to hear it. I will oil the hinges. Use the last of the oil in the can on the rusty hinges. The gate swings open easily and silently. You creep up to the door. You can hear the gang inside. You notice the door jam is busted, probably from being kicked in. There's a crude hasp made of bent nails in the door. Looks we'll like the bandits have been have just been locking with a padlock from the outside when they leave. If you had a lock, you could turn Oh. I know where to get one of those, wouldn't you know it? I hope once I lock them in... M. McCready stuck to his guns. Interesting. Button Willow. Oh, don't encounter something in the way. Oh. Gorse takes a weird turn somewhere and you find yourself completely surrounded by old dead trees. Where are you? A gray mist closes in on you as Gorse marches confidently forward through the gnarled and ancient forest. You shudder. Gorse stops. Through the fog, you see a shape. You dismount to investigate, and it reveals itself to be the shape of a pedestal, topped with the shape of a book. A chill runs down your spine as you touch the book. Introductory next mix. Like... Necromancy? What did you just get me, horse? Gorse, I mean. Grin and skull skill. Do I want that? It seems like it's probably pretty dangerous. Are you sure you want to read it? On second thought, leave it alone. Okay, when it, the game does that, it makes me not want to do it. Hey, you still got that, uh... Yeah, give me that lock. What will I encounter on the way this? Nothing. Hey, dog, you don't need another bone, right? This game is a delight. Lock them in. You quietly lock the door from the outside. You definitely got the upper hand at this point. What's your next move? Arrest them. Okay, fellas, the jig is up. A muffled voice says, The lock! Get him, boys! And then, Tarnation, we're locked in! You hear a chorus of defeated sighs. Toss out your weapons. Ooh. You hear a quiet but heated discussion inside. Eventually, a voice says, All right, and some pistols fall out the window. Just kidding, I'm still going to arrest you. Aw, oh, dang it. You round up the gang and haul them back to dirt water. That's the house in the desert gang, all right. All except for the house, that is. Did it get away? What? Was I supposed to? Nah, I'm just messing with you. Here's your reward. Ooh. Neat. Ooh, there's a new one. Wanted the Potemkin gang for unlicensed civil engineering and flaunting of construction regulations. Last seen in an unregistered settlement north of dirt water. Hmm. Poster shows the location of the suspicious city the gang is hiding out in. Want to go check it out? Sure. The Potemkin Gang's hideout. Okay. Ooh, plus one Moxie. I'll take that. Probably don't need two bandit pistols, so I guess I could sell that at some point. Wait. Did I get a new... 
No. I love this one. Mind splainer. Hopefully that comes in handy. Uh, okay. Wow. Wow, there's a lot up there. Okay, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's go to the Cavern Canyon next, I think. Recipe, okay. Created supplies, okay. Army field, trauma, and hard tack. Isn't hard tack like, like super long lasting food? Danger spider, uh oh. Oops, hold on. Armor for the rest of the day. Restores 10 HP. Okay, that could be fun and handy. We'll get back to that in a second. I'm leaving. Oh, wait. Alright, let's start from the first one. Pete? Danger, spider. I tell you what, boss. You going ahead. I better stay here and keep an eye on the horse. What's the matter, Pete? Scared of spiders? A spider fears him enough for that some feller come along and put up a danger spider sign? It seems like a perfectly reasonable spider to be scared of. Okay, you have a point there. Weapons. You hear a sudden chittering sound coming from a big hole behind you. Ah, okay, I should have picked better. Oh well. What did I get? Fancy knife. Plus three moxie. Seven to nine. Oh, that's a very good knife. Okay, sure. These boards can't hide from your prying eyes or your prying crowbar. Wait, is this just the other side of... This door has like 15 deadbolts on it. Note tacked to it says, Please don't open this door unless you want to get eaten by a giant spider. Even then, don't open it because the rest of us don't want to get eaten by a giant spider. It isn't even signed, so you can hardly be expected to take it seriously. Hello behind this opening goes straight up. There's no way to get through it unless you're a huge spider. So did that free this... No way you're going back in there. Okay. You hear a horrible skittering noise, followed by a scream, followed by more horrible skittering noises, followed by more screams, followed by some rapping noises, followed by some muffled screams. Then there's like, then there's more skittering than silence. Oh. Danger kitchen. Danger bar. I'll deal with them in a second. This poor chef is chained to the wall. His eyes widen as you approach. Hey, you're not one of them. Are you here to rescue me? Sure. Oh, thank goodness. He thrusts his hand into yours and shakes vigorously. Hi, I'm Doug. Haas, how'd you do, Doug? How do you do, Doug? Well, I've been chained up in this dank, this dank cave for a week, cooking for these stripy-headed idiots. That sounds awful. One of the worst part, there's a perfectly good oven eight feet to my right and a shelf of perfectly good ingredients eight feet to my left. Uh, how's that the worst part? This chain is only four feet long. That's rough. I know, right? There I was, fresh out of culinary school with a million meat idea in my head. And now here I am, four feet shy of my dreams, cooking the same pot of soup over and over again. What million meat idea? You, uh, promise not to steal my idea, right? Yeah, I promise. Okay then, it's a new kind of sandwich. Or maybe a taco. It's so revolutionary that I'm not quite sure where it fits in the whole pan food taxonomy, to be honest. Anyway. In the middle of it, there's a sausage, but it's sausage made from the cheapest possible parts of a pig, ground up so finely you can't identify them anymore. Is he making hot dogs? Oh, his name is Doug. And it's served in a long split roll, which soaks up the grease so you, can, you can't tell how fatty the sausage is. Uh... And the best part? The name. You ready to hear the name? Sure. I call it the Hot Doug. What do you think? How about the Hot Hoss instead? Sounds great. He beams. Thanks, he sighs. Not that any of this even matters. Even if I did get off this chain, there's no point in hanging around here in this empty cave, making hot dugs just for myself. I don't even like the taste of them. You can set up shop in dirt water. Brilliant! You're a genius, Hoss. Hot dugs for sale all day, every day. I'll make a mint. Say, here's an idea. 
What if I added mint to the sausage mi mixture? That would be gross. You help him break his chain. He leaves chains. He leaves the cave, hauling the oven and the shelf full of ingredients, muttering to himself about the new sausage recipes. That's that then. Nothing the shelf looks good. Oh, okay. And the bar? All these bottles are empty. Place these a new bartender. What's this? A jaw harp? Maybe they killed him for playing the jaw harp too much. Ooh! Cheap whiskey, cheap tequila, cheap wine. Oh, I could have bought that from this lady store. Ah. Plunk it. You stick the twanger in your mouth and plunk it as best you can. My controller's vibrating. It'll be plunking this twanger until the day you die. You cannot stop plunking it. You keep on plunking your twanger. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> we have residual plunks. The gang has been prepped for spider consumption. Arrest them. You stack the cocoons on the back of your horse, except for one, which Pete pushes all the way back to town in a wheelbarrow he found somewhere, and head back to dirt water. Is that the stripy hat gang? What happened to him? They had to run in with a giant spider. A giant spider of justice. Fortunately, the reward is for results rather than explanations. Ooh. A lot of meat. Oh, I almost have enough to level up the bean golem. I haven't even used the bean golem in a while. I haven't had to use combat. Ooh, new one? Yet another wanted poster. Lots of criminals around these parts. The Black Hat Bandits for horse theft and selling of counterfeit glue. Oh no. Toward old millinery. No goods can come from criminals with access to a hat making machinery. Want to go investigate? Yes. You mark the location of the millinery on your map and spend some time saying millinery over and over again. Or over and over. Millinery. 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 Did the hot guy got hot dog guys set up in town yet? <gasps> hot dog. Wait, hot dog. Howdy, Doug Wolf. It isn't my savior. Good old hoss. Howdy yourself. The sign outside. Yeah, I had to change the name. Tried to file a trademark, and it turns out there's already something called a hot dog. What is it? Trust me, you don't want to know. I wish I didn't know. Anyway, single letter removed, and I'm in business. He just has the menu on the wall behind him. Buy something. Ooh, Mr. Cal. Ooh, these are actually are really good. Oh wait. I guess if I yeah, if I ever want to reset my food, I just sleep. Anything new? Okay. Anything new? Ooh, maybe I can find lockbox keys. I didn't even think about that. Jewel saloon. I wonder if you could get a. Mm. Did this guy have anything I needed? Advanced bean craft. Maybe I should buy that. Yeah, I'll buy that. And I think the lady had one too. Oops. Okay. Whole set of recipes for ice cold bean based desserts. Gives great northern blizzard. blizzard. Oh. Applies a spe uh, spell that deals cold damage to all your enemies. The recipe that's been scratched out and replaced with a bunch of paranoid scrawling. Gives wary. Increases your maximum HP. Meditation techniques to help you concentrate while cooking and or fighting. Old, use the old bean skills and really increase your mysticality. That buff one sounds like it could be good. The old bean. You read the meditation techniques and spend a few hours practicing them. Unfortunately, you get so good at clearing your mind that you completely lose your memory of where you left the book. Dang it! What is that? The old bean. Okay, that's an easy one to upgrade too. I mean, I have the money. Let me go... ...buy the book she had. Silversmith's house. Okay, never mind. We're going there first. It's weird that silversmiths leave his tools out in the open like this. Nobody uses silver much except bullets these days. Got a sick of it too, if I were him. Ah. Silver bullet making apparatus help yourself. Ooh. Uh. 
Oh, you can smash silver bullets into needles. I'll save it if I need it. How many needles do I have left with this? Damn, I keep pressing the wrong button. No, uh, miscellany. I have one needle. Oh, book. The book contains like 90 copies of Johnny Tremaine. There's something weird about it, though. It's too neatly organized. Like maybe the guy was hiding something. Search for secrets. The silver plater. Tucked behind one of the books, you find a small envelope filled with receipts. About half of them are from a shop called the Silver Plater. He was crooked! The silversmith was selling cheap fakes! Oh well, he's gone now, and so are most of his customers. No sense in stirring up trouble at this point. Your right down the location of the shop might come in handy. Oh. A spittoon! A spittoon! At least, it looks like a spittoon, but it's next to a bed. It might actually be a bedpan. What, really? I mean, if it's just a spittoon, that's bad enough. But it might be a bedpan, and that would be way worse! Investigate it. I feel like maybe you aren't getting what I'm saying. We're talking about an object that somebody probably uses when they wake up in the middle of the night and can't be bothered to walk to the outhouse. And the best you can hope for is maybe they only use it to spit nighttime tobacco juice into. In which case, it's only full of rancid congealing tobacco spit. I'm investigating it. I... Are you even listening to me? Or are you just sort of skimming past the text? Bedpan. I'm pretty sure there's, some, there's treasure in there and you aren't stopping me. Bed pan. Shut up, I'm investigating. Fine, have it your way, your own filthy, disgusting way. Turns out to probably not be a bed pan, but it is definitely a spittoon, and it is definitely filled with rotting brown spit. Fish around in it. What is wrong with you? Bite me! Oh, good god, okay. You plunge your hand in up to the wrist. It makes a gloop noise and breaks the thin skin skin of congealing toxins that was previously keeping the dire smell in relatively check. In relative check. Now you are choking in a miasma of oily, bitter chaw stink. You know that feeling you get when you're about to puke? How you get that taste way back in the rear corners of your mouth? That metallic tang by the root of your tongue, like you're sucking on a corroded old penny? Just tell me what I found already. You found a filthy, slime-covered old brooch. Are you happy? I bet you're going to put it on without even washing it first. Maybe I will, so there. Ooh, wait a minute. That's, uh lapels huh oh dare I yeah it's worth it I still I have plenty of armor from the skill save crack in three I forgot the darn combination of this confounded thing if you can open it you're welcome to what's in it oh well this is a right cozy little place mighty dusty though yeah I guess the silversmith split a while ago commence to scavenging oh is that an aqua teen reference Shelf looks pretty li- Oh, it's a grits plum pudding. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I was... Wait, where was the silversmith's house? Oh, they're all up there. Okay, that's fine. We're slowly marking our way. Inside the button willow. Out in the middle of the desert, you find an abandoned minecart. It's sitting on a section of minecart track about 12 feet long which starts nowhere in particular and ends even less of somewhere in particular oh okay oh and mine's being <laughs> Pete closed his throat it's mostly full of plain old rocks not even very interesting looking ones however if you left without searching it thoroughly you just end up driving yourself crazy later with the thought that you might have missed something valuable and so you spend a good half an hour inspecting rocks and eventually find one that might be worth something yes Pete Whoop, hold on there partner you missed one he picks up a rock he discarded and knocks it against the side of the minecart, breaking off a thin crust of rock and revealing a meaty center. Thanks, Pete. I'm kind of happy I picked Pete. I wonder what the other partners were like. <clears throat> Alright, um... Advanced... What is this? Hmm, I have a lasso. Maybe it's the same thing. Oh, I can buy that back if I wanted for some reason. That's good, so items aren't permanently lost. Alright, what do we got? Poem. There's a poem scribbled into the margins whose words keep shifting and changing. It gives uncanny presence. A perk that provides resistance against elemental... Oh, it's a perk. There's a chapter about cooking bean dishes so small that they have to be served intravenously. That's one. Okay. An article about butter. An article about beans. And the just juxtaposition gives you an idea. 
So that's a debuff. Give me... That's a passive perk. I'll take that. Cool. When you come to, you look into the margins of the book and see the poem has been replaced with a crude drawing of you. Horrified, you destroy the book, just in case. So that's a just a passive... Oh, it is! Whoa, that's a... Whoa! Okay, then. You've delved into so many occult mysteries that you're like... You're only like 80% real at this point. Wow. Okay, that seems very good. Alright, um... I've done everything. There's two safes I need to crack, but I don't have safe cracking, so it doesn't matter. I guess we'll head to... Let's wander. You notice trails of burnt vegetation off the side of the trail, which can only mean one thing. A hell calf is... Okay. Two AP. Mysticality, huh. Okay. Well, give me the bean shield. I don't know how strong this thing is. Juvenile Hellcalf. Got a lot of mysticality. Uh, go bean golem, because I love him. Oh, I love him. And then I'm gonna hit... Oh, my pistol does more damage at this point. Okay. To bald headed saloon Jimmy. Why do they always attack poor Pete? Well, thank you, Bean Golem. Tainted milk. Extra thick layer. Oh. You put that abominable calf out of your misery. Alright, let's head to Fort Cowardice. I'm gonna just keep playing this. Oh. Off to one side of the trail, you see a covered wagon and a small family of settlers look upset. You folks okay? We're on our way to Dirtwater, but our wagon went and broke down on us. That's rough. You're liable to get attacked by bandits out here. Or snakes. Or coyotes. Or ghosts. Or other things that basically live exclusively on stranded travelers. Isn't there something you can do to help us? Give them a ride to Dirtwater. Alright, I'll give you a- wait a minute. You've got two horses hitched to this wagon. Why don't you just ride the horses? What? You know how to ride a horse, don't you? Just ride the dirt water. But but these are cart horses. Oh, for the love of help them ride the dirt water. You hope to confuse settlers, figure out how to sit on the back of a cart horse, and lead them back to dirt water on a rope. Oh, we're actually going back to dirt water. I can upgrade the bean golem. He's a smallish bean golem now. I was kind of hoping it would be like a humanoid shape made of beans but this is also good you have anything new i haven't checked I, uh no it seems like they don't get new inventory and i just need to find a new merchant at some point did that no that did not add but maybe they are I still don't know what this is for, the stage. All right, let's head all the way back to Fort Cowardice once again. No interruptions? Okay. It's your partner. Funny, I would expect to see some soldiers marching around, seeing as it's a fort and all. Yeah, it must be abandoned. Just like the saying, old saying goes, when life gives you cannons, make cannonade. Sure do look abandoned. I'll stay here and keep an eye out while you check out the place. Might be some good scavenging. Okay. You climb up the watchtower and take a look around. Nice view from up here. Climb down. Oh, I need to go back to the silversmith and make lockpicks. The cabinet is mostly empty, but there are a handful of old, of boring personal records in the back of one drawer. Incredibly boring. No, I really want the details. Okay. Rebecca Blue Blank, Pyrotechnics Division, Charles Stern, Becky Smith, Ezra Wolf, Rowena Hubbard. I'm just looking at the same ones you've read before. What's wrong with you? I'm going to keep doing it. All right. This was once a reception desk, but now the most appropriate thing for it to receive would be a free trip to the dump. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. Let me go back to the. Where was it? The Silversmith's house. 
Oh, wait. You come across a horse trying to figure out how to use a pair of binoculars. Those aren't for you, buddy. The horse reluctantly agrees and trots off, leaving the binoculars behind. These will come in handy. They will also come in pairs, because otherwise you wouldn't be they wouldn't be binoculars. Oh, wait. Can I use them? Oh, hold on. I'm just going to go here and buy lockpicks, because she had some. Your heart skips a beat as you spy a floating cow skull in the middle distance. It doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. <gasps> Let me use my new golem. Okay, so this... Golem. It looks the same. I'm sure he does more damage, though. Oh, we need to upgrade you, Pete. You're falling behind on stats. Get him, Golem. Oh! Golem does 22 damage now. Cow Fang's Infernal Soul Fragment. Yeah, she had, like, two lockpicks, right? I'd rather not use the silver things if I can save them. Yeah. Oh, they're they're so cheap. I might as well. Okay, back to four towers. Can I use the binoculars in the watchtower? Or the lookout tower? Whatever it was. What do I have? 21 XP? 20, 20, 20, 20. And this needs 25. Okay. I don't even know if I'll use that skill, but I might as well. Ah! Snake Spring. You climb down from the washer and pitch the binoculars in a nearby trash can. Keep Fort Cowardice beautiful. Okay. Uh, in general, this is a door. More specifically, it's the door to the general's office. Even more specifically, it's the locked door to the general's office. Oh. Sir? You probably shouldn't try to open this pipe. Oh. The goblin seated at the desk is repeatedly firing a pistol at that pie safe. Get their attention. Say, uh, what are you are doing? Shooting pies? Always, always shooting pies. Could you, could you elaborating on that? Why shooting a pie? Yes. To destroying, obviously. Monster destroying a terrible pie. What is wrong with a pie? Ah, human will never understanding. That's again. No, really. Why a pie shooting? Shut up. So much angry. Keep trying. Look, I'm pretty sure being a pie is destroyed. Destroy it. Huh? Look, so many holes in a pie safe. You winning. A pie is dead. You certain being? Waiting here, I will be checking. You peek through the bullet holes. Yep, that pie is shot to hell. Hooray, you are a success. A pie is so very destroyed being. I, I doing it. So much doing it. But now what? Huh? What are I shooting now? Um, I guess you finding another pie? What? There are more pies being? Yes, our world is full of pies. Oh no, this violence thing will never ending. Sorry being, not wishing to enabling this behavior. No, this is my cross bearing. I must go and continuing the fight. Thanking you. Okay, I wish you good luck against the forces of pie. Outfox them. You should leaving a hat and gun. Having a fresh start. Yes, correct being. I will fighting each pie as if it be it is first pie being. General Gob's hat and pistol. General Gobb strides out the door, jaw clenched, eyes resolute with pie hatred. Oh, well, that was weird. Guess I'm the general now. <sighs> Finally, a new hat? I keep pressing the wrong button. Two muscle. Ooh. But my mysticality. Ooh, but it's a good looking hat. And a pistol, huh? More damage, but it doesn't give moxie. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna equip that, uh... I have potions? Increase your melee damage for 7. Okay. Oh, okay. Stomach is food. Booze is liver. Spleen is this stuff. These, like, miscellaneous weird things. Oh my god, missed that. It's a lot. Again, I'm gonna save it though until I need it. Uh, where's those snake skins? Yeah, you put the snake, the cold snake skin on your hat, making it slightly blacker than it was before, at least in the area right above the brim. Cool. What does this do? Nothing yet. So, where are my stats? Oh, my name is actually Ha Sneaky Zombie. I didn't notice that until now. Um, okay. 
should bump up my AP. Oh, that takes a lot, though. I don't know, I'm doing okay. The bean golem is really carrying its weight. Some good mess. Whiskey and hardtack. Do I have... No, my liver is full. Shaker of saltpeter. Oh, I needed that. Okay. Blech. One shaker of saltpeter is enough. Oh, mess hall and administration connect. Got it. You hear the sounds of several goblins storing inside this tent. I'm going to leave them alone. The goblins seem okay. I don't want to fight them. It must be the math tent. The shelf sells some unlooted medical supplies. Render them looted. Okay, good. Oh, control substances. Where do I get safe cracking? Based on the papers and anatomical diagrams scattered across its surface, you're guessing this desk belonged to Fort Cowardice's nurse. Look at the papers. The papers are mostly just boring medical records, dental dagger types, lamentations that antibiotics haven't been discovered yet, that kind of thing. Hey, wait, what's this? This looks like it might be important. Marching orders. Just a bunch of disgusting drawings of sliced open bodies. Okay. Damn it, where do I get safe cracking? That sign says toilet in goblin. Which makes it seem pretty likely that goblins use this torrent as a toilet. No way are you gonna go in there. The sign has the goblin with a toilet on it. Yikes, this mishap definitely got somebody fired. Oh. A demi culverin cat. Wait a minute. It's not a glass sphere. But maybe it's close enough? I don't even remember where that was. Was it Snake Pit Mine? Or was it the Dave Yard? It was the Dave Yard that had the... The... the what's it called? Ritual site thing, right? Ah, no. Okay. Ooh, I kind of want to try... Now that I have the Bean Golem, I want to see how different this would be. Because I was pretty close last time. Give myself armor. Give myself the Bean Golem. Oh, I do a lot more damage now, too. Uh, this guy has got to go. Pep up. Pete is going to be gone after this turn. Wait. Oh my lord, the bean golem. Uh, yeah, this guy can go now. Bean golem does not care. The bean golem does not care. Oh my god, that was a good skill to get. Gold tooth, skeleton bone, skull chips. Are those new? Oh. Wow, okay, um, well I needed the, dirt water was the place that needed the saltpeter, right? You find his pair of saddlebags slung over a tree branch, stenciled letters on the side to read Property of Fort All Dead Library. The bag is full of books, mostly boring military field manuals. You do find one of specific interest to you though, Advanced Beancraft Volume. So is there just a certain number of books in the game or will you eventually learn all of your class's skills? Okay, butter bean. We've read that one. Bean wall. Cover from range attacks. This paper, a wall-shaped pile of beans. It looks pretty interesting. Gives bean wall. Well, I really just have overall defense, but blood beans regening health could be good. Master the art of microscopic bean conjuration to fill your bloodstream with restorative proteins. Unfortunately, you get so distracted by your newfound vigor that you misplace the book. Let's just misplace it. That's it. All right, kitchen. Uh, you wanted the saltpeter, right? You got that saltpeter? Got it right here. That's the stuff, thanks. Okay, the next thing I need is a certain kind of hot pepper. It's called a murder pepper because it's really spicy. Because it literally has a knife and kills people who ask them questions. They grow in the area outside of town. You should be able to find one if you just wander around a bit. Okay.
Uh, I'm gonna see if this this shop they didn't have any needles, right? No. In fact, they don't really have much of anything. Oh, right, you said just wander. At the side of the trail, you see a small hell cow, a hell calf, really. It snorts at a patch of brush, lighting on fire, and starts grazing. Thrown into a trap? You quickly dig a small pit and cover it with tumbleweed, except you light it, which you light on fire. The hell calf canters over excitedly, whereupon you kick it into the hole and throw rocks at it until it's banished from this plane. Oh. I should have probably fought it. Okay. What was it? Someone said hello there? Wait, I don't even... Where's my skill for the... Did I not... That's weird. Where's my new skill I just got? Or is that just a passive? That wasn't a passive, right? I thought it was a skill. <laughs> I mean, the bean golem's gonna take care of the cow. Hey, why me? Oh, never mind. Oh. Tainted beef steak. Hold on. Did I not? Where is it? Blood beans. That's weird. I I'm honestly not really... That could be good. But I'm never gonna really use this, I think. Okay, let me upgrade... Not Dickering. Uh, what do I need? 150. Actually. No, we'll do Blood Beans. And then I want to upgrade these now. Meat gains. Yeah, give me more glamour. Ooh, and that increases my stomach and spleen. Okay. Wait, what was that? No. Let's just. I want to find this thing. This ghost pepper, whatever. Murder pepper. Uh huh. Lodestone ring. What is that? Hold on. 20% to meat games. Oh, what are my rings currently? No, that's too good. That's nice, but I don't need that. Wonder again. I'll leave it be. You hear groaning noise a short distance away and investigate. A cow poking sitting against a rock with his leg bent in a way that seems incorrect. What happened? Dang horse threw a rod and I fell off. I think I busted one of my dancing arms. Give him a ride back to dirt water. Help the guy back onto the back of your horse and give him a lift back down. Thank you kindly, stranger. I said I owe you one, but it seems doubtful we'll ever meet again. No problem. All right. Wait. Why did... Why did we get a prompt to actually come back? That was weird. Hmm. Alright, this seems like it can take a while to get this murder pepper. Unless it's a progress based thing? I don't know. But we'll try again. I'll keep going in the next episode until I, until I get them. So, we'll find it. So, yeah, thanks for joining me. Come back, I'll have the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.